Hi everyone, this is Fanola Howard and today is Wednesday. So it's Wednesday, so therefore it must be an Ask Fanola How Day. So um, this week's episode is actually episode 34 and it's a really interesting question from a real entrepreneur. Real questions from real entrepreneurs, remember. And this question um, came from someone on one of our programs and the question was, should my values match the values of my clients? And the reason that uh, this person was asking this question was, and I'll just relate to you what she said, and it was, I have way too many different types of customers written down, you know, and who I'm targeting. I know opening up into other industries and I'm trying to get my head around other industries and say, who is it there I definitely need to speak to? How do I know who is the right customer for me? And this is a perfect question. Actually, the better part of this question is, who is the right customer for me? And the answer is always in values. But the answer is also very simple because she's actually answered it herself. And it is this question of, yes, in my view and in my experience, your business journey will be far simpler, far more productive if your values match those of your customers. But the really key difference here, it's not that your values have to be changed to match the values of your customer, it is actually to choose customers choose the right customer, being they are the right customer because their values match yours. And that is pivotal. And the reason I say it's pivotal is because there is an opportunity cost of doing business with the wrong customer, with a person, with a company whose values don't match yours. It just means that things take longer, things can get stuck, things don't work if your values are not aligned. So um, I could actually hang up now and say, that's it. The best decision you will often make if you understand that your customer doesn't share the same values as you is to actually say no to that customer because it's not going to be productive for you and eats up space that you could be spending with a customer that you're much more fully aligned to. And the piece of advice that I would give you in this context is make sure that you really bring your own brand values to life. You must make your brand values be so strong and so ever present and ever present and ever visual in your business and on your website and how you do business so that they can see it on your website. They can see it in your proposal. They can see it on the bottom of your product on a sticker that it becomes so obvious of what it's like to do business with you that you will therefore only attract customers to you that fit, that are right for you that will bring ease to your business and make life so much easier and profitable, much more profitable for you because you're both aligned. Productive for them, productive for you, profitable for you, enriching for them and pain point solving for them. So just to come back of how do I do this in terms of uh, getting brand values? Well, the first is to make that decision. But I would also say to you that there is a tendency to kind of manufacture values in organizations. If you are a one man show, I would do this uh, exercise to understand your values and you can do that on your own. We have a brand values mini course. If you click on the link in the bio, you will actually be able to access that. If you're an organization, you need to bring your people together to choose those values that they want to live by because that's a true expression of the culture of the organization and maybe the culture that's not working in your organization. But bringing everybody together to choose the values in your organization or you choosing the values in your organization and then using those values very, very actively in your business and how you promote your business and how you communicate who you are as a business is a game changer for most businesses. Being values led changes the nature of the game. OK, so when you choose those uh, values, often they're chosen in single words like service or quality, but that, that doesn't mean anything. You need to, to put your ass on the line and clarify what that actually means. What do you commit to? What is this actionable nature, a sentence that makes, that brings clarity to what that brand means to make sure that you're on the hook in your own business by what you choose to live by. It's powerful stuff and I highly recommend that you do it. So start with 
you can do this mini course, but start by choosing four or five key words that you can convert in something like a phrase that makes sense. Like one of the brand values for how great marketing works and in my own work is I believe in you. I actively believe in you. And that frames the conversation. So every time that I work with you on one of my programs, in my groups, or in my one-to-one -one with you, I promise you that I would believe in you. I believe in what you're trying to accomplish. If I didn't believe, I would tell you because I'm wanting to refine it even more to make sure that you stay on track. I would never do business with someone that doesn't, that I don't believe in what they're doing. That's part of one of my brand values. It's a rule by which I live, by how I work. If I don't believe in your business, I'm not going to do it. What are your brand values that are actionable that will actually make you choose to live in this way? Okay, which leads me to, uh, um, oh yeah, well, I'll actually stay with this idea for a second. When you move beyond turning that into a sentence and explaining that sentence, then I would actually put that on my website. Put it on your website, put it in your terms and conditions, put it in your intro letter, your welcome letter, your onboarding letter, put it on your product. Make sure that you live those values and that they are very, very apparent in everything that you do. I'd also consider moving it to another stage, which is creating some why rules. So what I mean by why rules, the why meaning why you're in business and what you're trying to achieve. Often why is uh, understood best in terms of purpose, mission, vision. And I would create, I would advocate that you create rules by which that purpose, mission and vision is brought to life so that Perhaps your decision is to work with a certain type of customer that you only work with women and that's OK. Or you only work with men or you only work with teenagers or you only work with. And that's part of what you do. So that's a tick box to figure out. I only work with teenagers and how I work is in this way. And you're saying you, you so brand values and why rules working really, really closely together makes for a much more uh, definitive way of doing business together. And when you are very clear and communicate both your values, your brand values and your why rules, you will attract like for like. You will attract customers that are like that to you. Once you live by them, once you communicate them, once you demonstrate them. And it means that, and once you say no to the people that don't fit those, it makes for a better business less opportunity cost uh, involved because you're always working with people that fit. There are my thoughts and brand values for you today. Um, I'd like to invite you to a session tomorrow evening at six o'clock, which is a uh, quarterly planning session I do uh, at the end of every month, at the end of every quarter planning for the next quarter. We're on at 6 p.m. Irish time tomorrow. Do join me for that session. And you can click on the link in the bio. And other than that, if I don't see you tomorrow night at six o'clock to help you have the best quarter two you've ever had, I'll see you next Wednesday. And let me know if there are any questions that you'd like to ask me about your business and we can talk about them here on Ask Finola How. And this was episode 34. Hope you have a wonderful day, everyone. And also I want to say thank you for all the kind words and the wonderful testimonials that people shared with me. Thank you, Lenka, for organizing that. I had a wonderful birthday yesterday and you made it all the more richer. Have a great day. Take care. Bye bye.